Hello Internet, welcome to another edition of A Lock and Some History. In this case, we have one of my commando locks that make up the bulk of my practice alignment, or lineup. And the story of the Pyrrhic victory. The term comes from the campaigns ranged by one King Pyrrhus of Epirus against the Roman Republic. This is back before Rome had full control of the Italian peninsula. He essentially, at the request for aid of some Greek colony city-states, help, requesting help against Rome, took an army over to Italy to fight the Romans. He then promptly won a bunch of battles. But Rome kept raising new armies and kept, would keep fighting him. And while he would win his battles, they would cost him so much that he was unable to exploit them. He is said after one of these battles, one more victory such as this and I am ruined. And thus, they were Pyrrhus's victories, hence Pyrrhic victories. So, and Pyrrhus was not a military slouch. He was one of the better military commanders of his time. Just that the way Rome fought him was different. And this actually show up in the days of the Roman Republic again and again. Rome would get its butt handed to it, but it would take so much out of their opponents, or they would just make another army, that no one could really beat them in a war. And that's kind of how Rome fought. And thus, Pyrrhus, with his victories, gave us the term the Pyrrhic victory, which is to win, but in such a manner that it is like a defeat. And Pyrrhus, despite winning those battles, was unable to exploit them because it cost him so much. So, thank you for watching, hope you learned something, and most importantly, have a nice day.